In this video we're going to learn how to copy a segment. So if you notice here we've got segment AB and what we want to do is we want to copy that in a different location. So uh, what we're going to do is just write out the steps here and then we'll actually do the copying. So the first step when we want to copy this segment is that we're going to draw a ray longer than the segment. So you, we can see here in stage one we've drawn a ray that starts at C and goes to the right and it's a little bit longer than my segment so you want to make sure that you, wherever you draw your ray uh, it's longer than the segment you're going to draw. And we'll go through these steps uh, after we get um, down what each of these stages is. And then in step two, over here in stage two, we're going to use the compass to measure Okay, I'm going to put that in quotes because we're, we're not really measuring it in the sense that we normally would with a ruler. We're just going to open up our compass uh, to the length of the segment that we're going to copy. So use the compass to measure original segment. And then our last step is we're going to keep the compass setting. from step two and mark that distance on your ray. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, do this construction. You're going to need a compass. You're going to need a straight edge. Okay, I just happen to have a ruler. You can use your protractor if that has a straight edge. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the ray. So I'm just going to use this entire area here, and I'm going to draw my ray. Really doesn't matter which way it goes. And I'll call this point C. And we can put an arrow here. We don't really need it, but you can put it there. Okay, so now that's uh, step one, draw a ray that's longer than the segment. So I'm pretty sure my ray is longer than uh, segment AB up here. Step two, we're going to use the compass to measure the original segment. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to put the point on A, and I'm going to close my compass until it lands on B. And then I'll just make a little swipe here to make sure it goes through there. Maybe make it a little bit longer. Okay, so that's good. So now this measurement that I have here, this represents the length of AB. It's open the same amount as the length of AB. So I'm going to come over. This is my stage three. I'm going to put the point of the compass on C, and then I'm going to make a swipe that goes across my ray. And this point here will be the end of my copied segment. We'll just call it D. And now I have that segment CD is going to be exactly the same length as segment AB. Okay, so you can use a ruler to double check these to make sure that they match. Maybe you want to measure it in centimeters so you can get a little bit more accurate measurement. Uh, and if you have any questions, make sure you talk to your teacher in class.